when were you asked when your last contact with Nancy Cooper was? Yes. And what did you tell Detective Dismukes at that point? May I use a reference? I just don't remember the exact date, but I told him that I saw Nancy at a grocery store near my house. That was the last contact I had with her. And when was it that uh, you told him that that happened? Um, that was on uh, June 4th, 2008. Okay. And um, do you remember at some point speaking with her by telephone? Yes. Did you tell D Detective Dismukes about speaking, her by, speaking with her by telephone? Yes. And what did you tell him the call was about? I got a call in uh, the first week of May, uh, May 8th, I believe. Um, Nancy called me out of the blue and was asking me some questions about um, a conversation she had with Heather. She also referenced uh, some conversations she had with my ex-wife and uh, the alienation of affection suit that was going on between the two of them. Okay. Um, when you talk about your ex-wife, who are you talking about? Kinda Rollins. And uh, who is Heather Mature? My ex-girlfriend. And uh, what was the, the lawsuit that you're referring to between your ex-wife and Heather Mature? There was an alienation of affection suit between my ex-wife, Kinda, and Heather Mature. And at some point, uh, did Nancy ask you about that? Yes. And um, was that over telephone or was it in person? The May 8th call, I believe it was May 8th, the first week of May, was a call out of the blue asking me why were these two calling her. And I told her, and she sounded suspicious and uncomfortable. I hadn't heard from Nancy in well over a year, and I was uncomfortable talking on the phone. So I suggested we, if she wanted to talk, I'd be happy to talk in person. I had just you know, completed my divorce, and I was just not comfortable talking about these types of things over the phone. Are you, at some point you spoke with the police about Nancy's running route? She did mention while we were having coffee um, that she was running a lot. And uh, she said, I'd like to run. She mentioned that she'd like to run around um, Regency Lake. Okay. And uh, that's all she told me. Did you understand uh, what that route entailed? No. Earlier you said that uh, you were uncomfortable talking over the telephone? Right. Why is that? I just didn't know why Nancy was calling me out of the blue. I didn't know who else was listening online. I didn't know. I just didn't feel comfortable talking on the phone. And did you express that to her? Yes. And she, she agreed. She goes, I, I can understand that. I'm concerned, you know, as well. So face to face would be fine. And after Nancy asked you about going for a run, what did you say? I don't think that's what I said. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, she suggested, it was more of a suggestion, I think kind of casually, maybe we should go for a run. I don't think she was asking me to go for a run. I didn't see it as a request. I didn't see it as an invitation, and I didn't take it seriously. Okay. Um, when's the, I believe you said the last time you saw her was at a grocery store? Yeah, right near my apartment, the Lowe's grocery store right across the street from my apartment. And what happened at the time that you saw her? I was walking in. The produce section is right near the front door there. I walked in. She was grabbing a few things. I said hi. And we talked for a couple minutes. And was she asking any questions of you at that point? No. Oh, she had mentioned a, a potential fundraiser run. I think it was for Crohn's maybe. Um, but she said it was coming up that Friday. <coughs> and that she might call me if I was interested in running that. I think she was trying to raise money, but I didn't take that seriously as well. It was more, if you're interested, uh, I'm in town on, because I travel a lot. If you're in town on Friday, maybe you want to do this, this kind of fun run, fundraiser. I didn't learn anything about it. I didn't know anything about it. And she never followed up. I shouldn't say that. She followed up a week later saying, 
sorry I didn't call you back about that race. I didn't go. I was sick. And that was the last I ever heard from her. And what was the last contact you had with Nancy? I had, I had virtually no contact with her since, like I said, um, let me answer your question. The last time I talked to her was, I believe, like the first week of June. Okay. Um, I had not talked to her almost like a year, a year and a half prior to that. Like I said, once we were out of the neighborhood and I was divorced, I was sort of not part of that group anymore. Um, and I think it was maybe February of 2007, I saw her once at Heather's house. Okay. And then maybe one other call where she said that my exit called her. She wanted to know why. I didn't know why. And then recently she called me and said, um, that was about the first week of May. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, look, they're both calling me about this, uh, this uh, lawsuit. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you know about it? And I said, you know, I don't know much about it at all. I'm trying to stay out of it. Yeah. Um, she said, well, I don't, she was very suspicious. She was like, I didn't want to talk on the phone. So she said, it was this, this Nancy. Nancy. Okay. Yeah. And so she said, can we meet at the um, coffee shop here? I'm like, okay. So we had a cup of coffee, like I said, that first week of May. Okay. No, but then, but then okay. the last week, that's the last time I talked to her. The last time I, I saw her was like the last week of first week of June. So this is what I'm saying. I hadn't talked to her for like a year and a half. I get this call out of the blue the first week of May, and then um, she asked me to meet her for coffee because she didn't feel comfortable talking over the phone. Sure. So I met her at this was it called Blue Moon or something like that? Oh, uh, right here. Yeah. Downtown. Yeah. There. Yeah. I think it's called Blue Moon. I never yeah. Heard of her, so. She wanted to have coffee there. I met her for about 20 minutes. And she had Katie, and she was kind of telling me generally what was going on with her life, mm -hmm. and told me that she didn't want to get involved with this lawsuit. And I said, fine. I said, I'm not telling them one way or another, so I'm out of it as well. And she said, great. And she goes, you know, it's, it was good to see you again. Maybe we should go for a run. It's one of those kind of parting comments. Mm -hmm. We should go, because I was training at the time, and she was training. She said, well, maybe we should go for a run. And uh, I said, okay. And I said, maybe we should go for a run. And then. That was like the, second, like the first week of May, like I said, somewhere in there, first week of May. And then I didn't hear from her. And then the first week of June, she called me. She heard the rumor that my ex-wife had got married. So she wanted to call and hear, hear about that. So she sure. called and said, is it true that she just got married? I'm like, yeah, yeah she did just get married. Okay. And then um, she says, well, we still have to have that run. I said, all right, well, maybe you know, we'll, we'll try to have a run. And we never scheduled it. And then about two days after she called to find out about my ex, I accident ran into her at a grocery store. Near my house. Right into Nancy. Yeah, at the um, so that's that's what I said. The last time I saw her was like June eighth. Oh, okay. Like, you know, you said okay. the last time I yeah. saw her. I saw her at a grocery store at Lowe's, okay. and that was the last time. I'm sorry for long winded, but it's been a long time since I've seen her, and then suddenly I saw her, you know, twice, you know, about six weeks ago, I guess. Um, and you nor Heather were at the party on July eleventh. No, you? no, we were together. Were you, were you traveling at that time? I just got back from Wisconsin um, Thursday night, and that party was Friday night, right? Right. Yeah, and I don't even know any of those people. Heather does. She knows right. a couple of those people. Yeah. But um, and she certainly wouldn't get a party. I don't think where Nancy was, but um, uh, that party was Friday night. Heather and I were together Friday night. Okay. And were you all in Cary? I had flown in from Wisconsin the night before, worked all, all day Friday for my office, and then we had dinner. I stayed with her that night, and then the next morning I picked up my kids. Okay, you stayed with Heather at her place mm -hmm. over there? Okay. Yeah. When and how did you hear, after the fact, did, did you hear about Nancy being reported as missing? I heard from Heather. Heather called me. That Saturday? Yeah. That Saturday morning, I went to her, her place, got my kids at like 6.30 or so. Mm -hmm. Had my kids all day, and then I was jamming for work. I'm straight out these days, as you probably indicate, and pick up from my travels. Um, so I had to prepare um, all day Saturday and all day Sunday for my trip on Monday morning. So she called my apartment at 5, and she was going to the concert at Regency. And she goes, Nancy's missing at 5 you know, five o'clock that evening, it's the first I heard. And at the time, I was, was alarmed, but I didn't want to show, you know, overly concerned because yeah. I didn't want Heather to stay calm. Right. And uh, I said, well, she's, I'm sure she's doing something, you know, and she's okay. And then she called me again later after the concert, and um, that's the first I heard of it. And then I said, well, you know, I told my, I, I said, well, I'm getting up for the first thing in the morning because I'm just going to go look where I think no one else will look right. before I start working. So I went up at like 6 o'clock in the morning and started walking. Where Nancy had mentioned that day we had coffee, she had mentioned where she was kind of running those days. 
What and what what'd she say? Where did she tell you? She said she said that and my memory's a little vague on this, but all she did confirm is because it's the same route that I run, so right. I kinda of, that stuck in my head. Um, she was running to Regency from Lockmere, which is what I used to do. So it's kinda of like down come out of her subdivision, make a ride on Lockmere yep. and then run all the way to Kildare and Ritter Park. And then Ritter, and take that back trail and go over to Regency. Right. And then loop Regency and then you can add a couple more miles different ways. Right. So I knew So she was taking a trail that behind Ritter Park. Yes, okay. exactly. And I ran that so often too. I knew that hey, if, you know, maybe she got sick. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. To be completely honest, as a runner, I think you know, a little ill, you know, and I just had to go into bushes, you know, and maybe she fell somewhere. So I was like just looking in the woods sure. that day, just that morning. I looked for a couple hours, and I had to go back to work, for, prepare for my week, and then I went out again midday with, uh, with Heather again for right. a few hours. Oh, that that Sunday. That Sunday, and then I flew out Monday morning. Now, when. I asked you probably 30 minutes ago about the route that Nancy took jogging. Right. Uh, I believe you weren't particularly clear on it. Were you clearer uh, at the time that you were talking to Detective Dismukes? No, and I think that I think the statements that I made to him, I believe that they came across incorrectly on the tape. In other words, my intent was to say, if I were running, because I only knew one thing. Nancy said to me one thing, which is, I like to run around Regency Park Lake. That's the only thing she told me. I assumed everything else you heard on that tape, like where she might run, because I do run that area. And I thought it was unusual to me. I remember thinking this. You run that route from your house over, just in my head I thought this, to Regency, and I've never seen you run through there. But she may run at different times, but I was just telling the detective, where I would think she might be running from Lochner to Regency. But there's about six different ways to do that. And I'd use all those different routes within a given week. Uh, why is it that you did not clarify that when speaking with the detective? See, when I, when I looked at the transcript, I think I was. Because he was saying, you mean running this way? And I'm like, yeah. that, And I was kind of confirming what he was saying, which is, you mean that path behind Ritter? Like, and I said, yes. You hear. Most of the description of the path, I think, is coming from the detective. Can, if I were to show you a map, would you be able to illustrate what it was you were trying to explain? No, because there's different routes you could take. So you don't believe that you could point out? Uh, I could show you different variations. Would you be able to show me the route that you were describing to Detective Dismukes during that interview? Generally, yes. Just to be clear, this is a route that, that he ran or a route? Yeah, this, I was talking about what I would run. I believe... Uh, if I was Nancy. In other words, I don't know. She never told me she ran this route. The question is if uh, Mr. Pearson can describe the route that he said that Nancy had ran during his interview with Detective Dismukes. Okay, I don't think he said that. I don't. Uh, I have no idea. I'd ask to publish. Can you ask the question again, please? Would you be able to point out on a map the route that you explained to Detective Dismukes uh, that you believed Nancy had taken, or what her running route was. Jackson That's didn't say that to the detective. Going to allow him to answer the question. Okay. Can you point that out? Can you answer Mr. Curtis's question? Not the way he's phrasing it. Do you recall? Do you recall? Detective Dismukes asking you uh, where did she tell you and your response being she said that my memory is a little vague on this but all she did confirm because it's the same route that I run so that stuck in my head she was running to Regency from Lockmere which is what I used to do and what I'm saying is after listening to it again my intent in that statement was she told me she ran at Regency that's really all I knew 
did Detective Dismukes follow up by asking if it was kind of like down Lockmere, came out of her subdivision, make a right on Lockmere, and your response was yep? That's, yes. Um, and then run all the way to Kildare? Right. And did you go on to say and then take that uh, back trail and go over to Regency? Again, that's it seemed like the logical route that she might take, but that's not what she told me. And then loop Regency, and you can add a couple more miles different ways? Like I said, there's multiple paths you can take as a runner through those, tra those trails. And I never knew, she never told me where she ran. Do you remember Detective Disney asked you if she was taking a trail behind Ritter Park, and your response was yes, exactly? I misspoke. That's not what I meant. Can you point out on a map exactly what it was you were describing to Detective Dismukes yes. as being the path she took? I'd ask. No, no, not that she took. The path that you described to Detective Dismukes as the path that, how would you characterize that? That she may take, or if I were her, how I would run from her house to Regency Pond, Lake, whatever that's called. Can you illustrate that? Uh, if shown a map of the area. I can show you different routes that, yes, there's a couple of different routes you could take. Ask to publish Defense Exhibit 135 electronically. Uh, Jack, and illustrate for us the route as you described it. Again, this is my assumption on how I would run. I would run directly from the Cooper House to Regency Park, and I really can't see the path on this picture. But it's generally, I think, this way. Well, actually, could you start by uh, up at the Cooper House oh, sorry, to how you describe there. going down to Ritter Park? If you need it zoomed in. Or yeah, I'm going to have to. I, I can see this is Lockmere Drive. This is Kildare, I believe. Right? So just, yeah, you just run down Lockmere Drive. And then if you scroll to the, to the left. Again, there's, there's multiple ways you can run this section here, but generally running across to the lake in that back path behind River. I'm sorry, if you could do that slower so I can kind of follow along. What what road is that that is? This path right here. I think that's it right there. That's the path between Kildare Farm and Regency Parkway. Before you get to that point, what is the road that goes underneath the lake you can see there? Lockmere Drive. Okay. If you could start at Lockmere Drive and then okay. slowly show where it is you go at that point. Oh, that's that's Lockmere Drive. Okay, so well, again, there's multiple ways you could go. What is the way that you described to Detective Dismukes? Do you recall describing it specifically no. to Detective Dismukes? I said it behind Ritter, but you can go behind Ritter two different ways. I think that's what I, I think that's what we were talking about. You recall he asked, and so it's kind of like down Lockmere, out of her subdivision, make a right on Lockmere, yep, and then run all the way to Kildare and Ritter Park. Gotcha. Take the back trail, and then you finish the sentence saying, Okay, there's take two the different ways trail. right here, though. That's why I'm, I'm struggling to answer your question as directly as I can. You can go, I believe, this way past the church to Ritter, and there's a back trail that opens up here, or you can go down Kildare to the trail and go across this way. So that's why I'm trying to answer as directly as I can. If I were running from the Cooper house, that might be the way I would go. Again, though, there's other routes you can go around this way, go down Penny, depending on how many miles you're trying to do. But the most direct would be that route I just showed. Could you show the trail that goes through Regency? Is that that thin line? I, I don't know if that's through Regency. That's kind of that back of Hemlock Bluffs, I believe. Right here, okay. this trail. That trail there, is that one of the trails uh, that you believed it was possible that Ms. Cooper would have run? 
Is that one of the trails that you run? Yes. Is that the trail you were referring to when you were talking to Detective Dismukes about uh, taking the back trail of a Regency? Yes. <coughs> Is that the trail that you searched on Sunday, July 13th? Yes. <coughs> 